Hello everyone. So for today I thought we could work on making this double pocket. It's very simple with some old envelopes. Windowed envelopes, I must say. This one is a windowed envelope piece. So I'm just folding it where I'm going to have this part go. Also need to glue. So if you have this issue, just glue it along the edge here. Like so. And then also what I do here is cut the edging off this to create that pocket there. So there's a pocket here and actually we could also create a pocket there and we'll make a circle up here and a circle up here maybe I don't know we'll see but it's definitely a circle right here all right Again, I'm just gluing it down and then I'm going to take off these little pieces here there and here Glue this down and again this is all I'm doing is creating some pockets here this one I'm probably gonna leave the way it is and I'm just gonna create a little cut across there so you don't always have to do it the same way every single time and this one Ooh, this one I have ready to go for one of them one pieces, so I'm going to leave that alone. And we'll just grab a different window pocket. See, this one does have the double, but if you don't have a use for the double, you can do that. Or you could cut this in half and just glue the bottom or keep the top open. And then you got two just plain pockets, but I'm just going to make it into one. So there we go. We got four going, which is what I need for the four different journals I'm making. This one I think is going to be my first one. Again, I just want to make with what I have, not... So this is a part of my painty papers. I actually made it so I printed off two at once instead of more. So that's where, if you're wondering why it just looks a little different than when you purchase it, that's why. 
I print mine off sometimes in different sizes and more than one at a time. And I'll do that with other people's stuff too sometimes if I want some of them shorter and that type of thing. I'll unzip them and be able to do that. So this is our biggest spot right here. I'm just wondering, would this work? This would work. And again, I'm just going to glue away with this as much as I can. I'm okay with white showing because I can easily go off and add because I'll be distressing around it so it isn't as big of a deal as you think it would be. I can call that number back. Isn't as important as you think it would be. Phone call. There we go. All right. Now I want to put a hole punch through this part. Or not hole punch, but a punch through. And It's still going to be closed there, so I'm not too worried about it. So there we go. Got that going. And I'm going to distress. Around it. Just to get some of that white. So if you're anything like me, you don't like the white showing as much when there is little bits of white showing. All right. And we're going to glue it down. And we just glue it down one side the other side and there we go can you believe this is like my fourth video today all right I kind of want this to go inside it but when you have a piece like this that isn't very decorative doesn't have much to show for it I like to first distress around it
And then sometimes I'll stamp a little image on it too. So like, for example, I have this key stamp that I just keep right on my desk and ground espresso archival ink and I stamped it on there and voila. Again, it just gives it an added little piece and it was easy to just slip it in here. Now, I have this other piece which is I kind of want to use it, of course. And that completely messed up, but that's okay. I want this piece to be the innard of this, so we already have a tag going. Now, I'm thinking maybe one of these tags would fit perfectly in there. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, that ain't going to fit right. All right. I have a bit of a bigger tag here. Yeah, that would work perfect for inside here. So, what I'm going to do with this is glue all the way around it, which may seem kind of strange, but I want it to be the way I want it, not. falling apart too so there we go now and this is for the altered book journal so I'm not too concerned about it not going to match or whatever. The point of me doing the altered book journal is to use up my pieces. So these pieces can go right in there for when I'm doing a page. And then I line this up. And voila, we got that going. <coughs> then I'm going to keep this little string. I find it's a good idea sometimes to use these pieces of string if you get them. Otherwise, they kind of just sit. And I don't like having them just sit. But I am going to tie this into a bow. I don't like how flimsy these ties are. So, sometimes just making it into a bow instead of having it plain old tie is a good idea. And let's quickly decorate these pieces just because, again, I don't like to waste what I have already. So I think that's going to get glued on there. I have this lovely little phrase here. I'm just going to put that on there. Um, let's see here. This one, I'm going to add that lovely piece to. <coughs> Again, I just, I like using up 
what I already have. And this, I think, was actually out of an old Reader Digest. So, it has to do with me trying to use every piece of paper that I have to <laughs> create more, right? Not waste as much as possible. Yeah, that just adds a little added charm to it. My daughter is watching organizational videos again on how to organize scrapbooking paper and stickers and all kinds of things. She just loves it. So there we go. Just a cute little basic piece. And it sticks right in there. And again, this works beautifully for that altered book journal. And even this, I could easily, actually, we're going to, now that I'm thinking of it, we're going to add a little something. To this behind here and then this could be slid in one of my pockets that I needed to fill without actually creating any harm to it. It just adds a little charm and they can whoever gets this now has three pieces to write on so they have what's in this pocket they have what's in this pocket and they have behind the pocket so sometimes you got to be inventive like that this is going to be a floating pocket instead of just a plain old pocket pocket, which works for us. So now that you've got the basis, I hope you enjoyed this lovely video. And I'll be making the other three for the three other journals we are working on. And have a great day or night. Bye.